<coughs> Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of Don't council. Touch the microphone, please. Okay. All, preset. all right, you. Mr. Mayor. Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> members of council, manager Little, solicitor Dice. Good evening to all of you. My name is John Yakum. I am a resident of Monroeville. Mr. Mayor, thank you for the opportunity to address you on council this evening. Uh, I want to start off by wishing everybody, uh, Mr. Mayor, Council, a happy new year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, last month during a special meeting, council voted to reallocate a million dollars away from OPEB. I know many residents were not aware of this and many are still not. This occurred because of a budget shortfall in 2014. Mr. Mayor, can you tell me if the money budgeted for the 2015 OPEB will be used for that purpose this year? Mr. Little, please. Sean, you want to address this question? You know, Mr. Yakin, when you spoke last, I believe it was last month at this time, about the OPEB fund, one thing that didn't come up in the conversation was that the fund has been funded through our general fund from January of 2014 through December 31st of 2014. The million dollars that was taken from the OPEB fund was nothing more than reimbursing a general fund expense. Though it seems like money was taken from it, the fund was being supported out of our general fund during the entire fiscal year. So why the necess necessity for the transfer? Necessity. And also, why wasn't I told that last month when I brought it up? I can't speak to why you weren't told that last month. It's because Tim was speaking and I did not want to interrupt him. Maybe that was the only answer I can give you. But the reality of it is that is what happened. The fund was being funded to the tune of $1.157 million for the fiscal year 2014. A million dollar was taken out as a precautionary measure moving through the first quarter of 2015 in the event that maybe the possibility of our expenditures would exceed our revenues. So $1.57 million was sent to OPEC? $1.157 million $1 so was taken out of our general fund to pay for the health care benefits of the people that are retired. The $1 million was is a reimbursement of those that monies. That's for OPEP. That's for OPEP exclusively. Okay, so is there actually an OPEP fund? That, yes. that money was moved into or is it a place that it was sent the checks were sent to the checks were sent to the health care provider for the benefit of the retirees out of our general fund okay my understanding was OPEB was a, a, a separate from the million dollar OPEB that was supposed to transfer was for future benefits not current benefits it's like paying into an insurance plan playing into a life insurance plan the OPEB fund is designed and established to help defray the cost of providing benefits for those that have retired from the municipality. The monies were expended out of our general fund as they have been for long before I came here to reimburse our general fund and to also provide some leeway in this quarter. The million dollars was taken from OPEB and put into our general fund. Okay. Thank you. Um, during the special meeting, there apparently was some questions by members of this council about tax increases for fiscal year 2013 and 2014, specifically fiscal year 2013. Mr. Wilson had asked some questions about that, and I wanted to go over what happened in 2013. Um, fiscal year 2013 budget was on the heels of a mandatory reassessment by Allegheny County. Because of this, real estate tax increase has actually occurred with three steps. The first step was to reset the previous rate to adjust for the new assessment. This took the rate from 2.2 mills to 1.8 mills. Council then voted to increase the 1.8 to 1.884. This was the 5% windfall that the reassessment permitted. Then Council had to go to court to raise the taxes to its final 2.431 mills. Both the 1.8 to 1.884 and the 1.884 to 2.431 tax increases were approved by council members Grishock, Johns, and Duncan and signed by you, Mr. Mayor. To suggest that some other council 
pass these increases is really dishonest. The senior members of this council, along with the mayor, could have easily <coughs> stopped one or both of the 2013 tax increases. So I wanted to set that record straight as far as what Mr. Wilson said, that a different uh, um, who had control over the uh, tax increase in 2013. But you need more than three votes, John. You need to have four or more, and you That's only correct. can't for three. But those three could have stopped it. No. Yes. Wow. Easy. Four or three. No. It was six to one. I'm saying it could have been four to three. Right. So if Grishok, Dunk, uh, Duncan, and Johns voted against it, Mr. Erb already voted against it, well, so that would have killed the tax can increase. I, can I just Number ask, two, what are we doing? Well, John? Mr. Wilson didn't recall that, and I wanted to put it, make it part of the record that the three senior members of this council and you could have stopped that tax increase in 2013. I have no vote on this so council. To, but you do have a veto, because it is a financial issue. That is one place where you can veto. And go ahead, John. I, I'm, I'm not going to debate it. Hey, Sit down. Mr. Mayor, once again, our community is in the news and it is not for something positive. And once again, we see and hear the same old rhetoric that various crimes in our community are isolated incidents. I don't know whether to be concerned that our public officials are unaware of what is really happening in our community if, or if they are intentionally keeping us, the public, in the dark. The various crimes of the last few weeks are not isolated incidents. The robbery at one of our grocery stores occurred in broad daylight. The mall incident made the national news. And within days of increased security at the mall, we had more armed robberies, and at least one of those was particularly violent. These incidents reinforce that something is not working in our public safety. Many of the positive changes made to address public safety <coughs> by Chief Pascarella and Manager McKinney have been reversed. <coughs> Our community is not as safe as it could or should be. And while you, Mr. Mayor, Chief Cole, Manager Little, and Council did not commit the crimes, by your positions, you are responsible. You are responsible <laughs> for public safety in this town. Wow. And, 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 I'm sorry, I get loud. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mr. Johns, who do you think is responsible for public safety? You should be ashamed of yourself. But, all right, folks, let's you talk about the apprehension of the criminals. What was done right? Time. John, I've served more time doing public safety in this town than you'll ever, ever dream of. Okay. 25 Oops. and a half years as a police officer, I was out there doing Council. it. Council, I'm asking you. Let's just five minutes up. Tell him to sit down. So fix it. <laughs> what do you want to do? I'll, I'll, I'll have a comment when he's done. Fix it. We had some. We had what some, do you want to do? We had some things that were changed. Wait, fix it. What do you want to do? Well, let's go through the list of things that were reversed. No, no. Let's fix what's in front of us. Five minutes. Time to sit down. Get up and leave. A, a, a bad guy comes out. A bad guy comes out here from on a pat bus. They tell a, they teletype all their friends and they go to the mall and start a ruckus. If you had all forty seven police officers down there, wouldn't have stopped it. So we should have police down there to stop this kind of I problem. I didn't say that. That's up I to the understand. mall. That's up to the mall. It's within the municipality. We <clears throat> Minerval has responsibility Greg, throughout the entire municipality. Why don't you stop this? Five minutes is over. We do. So what do you want to do? Yeah, but you got Mr. Harvey engaging him. <laughs> it's not up to First me to you complain about First taxes. Then you complain about manpower in the police department. That's right. Okay, well, last time I checked, police cost money. Well, that's correct, Mr. Harvey, but we spent a whole lot of money last year on non-public safety issues, which showed that your You mean like legal fees and stuff? Well, it showed your priorities were on related to um, other issues re re uh, <coughs> You mean like legal fees and stuff? I don't believe the legal fees were actually very large. I've done the right to know requests, and oh. the legal fees were a very small amount. <coughs> oh, okay. so unless I the right to knows were incorrect. Well, what do you consider small? I believe the last check I saw was around $5,000. Yeah, but what's the total? I saw $5,000 for the legal fees. No, you're oh, wrong. That's way more than that. Wow. <laughs> sure as far is. as the lawsuits Okay, concerned. but let's get back to the public safety thing, because that's really what we're talking about. Here. Okay. What do you want to do? Well... I would like to use last year's tax increase to improve public safety as opposed to paying off 
Political friends purchasing equipment. <laughs> paying off what? political what? friends. Whoa. What? You better paying off who? That's, be a, that's a big accusation. Wait a minute. Paying off who? Well, we had a council member who received a, a council member's wife received a significant pay increase. We saw non we saw non union employees receive significant pay increases. We saw a hiring. There's five or six people that were hired that were not public safety related. Well, you still I have to write. Public safety or not, the rest of the borough still ticks every day. But public safety has to be the priority. So Senior you, centers, libraries, secretaries, those kinds of things can wait. Good. Continue, John, with your, okay. your statement. Unfortunately, this council used last year's staggering tax <clears throat> increase to hire non-essential employees, increase pay to political friends, and purchase equipment that other communities would find silly in the financial situation that we are in. So while our current government reduced the size of the police department, the size of non-essential services increased. These actions certainly do not appear that public safety is a priority. During 2013, you, Mr. Mayor, and several members of council did everything you could to stop the improvements within the police department. During 2014, many of these improvements were reversed. And now 2015, I am hearing about proposed reductions in shift minimums, and more frightening, I am hearing that there is a proposal to make our police department partially part-time. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, are either of these changes being discussed? Continue. I'll, I'll answer at the end. These very public robberies and the melee at the mall have deep ramifications. Because of the perception, good people are afraid to shop in our town. Besides being bad for merchants, this could mean loss of jobs and it certainly <coughs> means a shrinking tax base. These crimes also have a detrimental effect on our home pro uh, property values and, of all, and, and all of this adversely affects our schools. The public that I know does not want their public officials to treat us like children. Calling these incidents isolated incidents treats us as though we are being intentionally kept in the dark. The public and the business community that I know wants to help make this community safe. But we need to know that our government officials at least recognize that we have a problem. For the better part of four years, Mr. Mayor, you and I, and members of this council, have gone round and round about public safety. I think it is time that you recognize that we have a problem and offer solutions, not a denial. That's how I have. Thank you. Okay.